Special delivery. Special delivery. <laughs> What's some elderberry? I'm just here with my brother Gabe. <clears throat> We're in South Texas. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, pulling up here to Brother Frank's church. The Lord is doing a mighty work, and uh, hopefully, if I can get him to, I'll probably just have different brothers sharing, you know, put the camera on different people and just let them share whatever's in their heart, and, you know, hopefully, it'll be a blessing to whoever uh, may stumble across this here, mm -hmm. this here video. So, hallelujah. Man, may God arise. Amen. That's the word. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And his enemies be scattered. Uh, Brother Frank Baham is a precious man of God. I met him through Brother Gabriel, and this is, uh, you know, this is, you know, where he shepherds God's flock. And uh, you know, we're just here to gather in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sir, so you're gonna unbold. Represent. Yep. Here we go, man. Here we go. Here we go, man. Praise God. Just Jesus is life. Jesus is life. That is. That's what comes to me after a time of prayer with these brothers. Jesus is life. And, uh, you know, when we are in Him, when we're with Him, we're filled with life. We're overflowing with life and abundance. And life for other people. That's why I, I, I see now that a calling is from him. Um, I, I don't have no business calling myself anything. Um, the, these things of God, yes, you you can go to somewhere and study. I want to be a pastor. I want to be a, an accountant. I want to be, well, I realize that in these things of God, mission has taught me that it's a calling from him and if you seek him he equips you so just like he, he says everything I do and everything I say is what my father tells me and um, the only way that that can happen the only thing I do the only thing I, I say is what Jesus does is if I die and if you die and uh, that's my prayer. Um, Jesus is hope, and I would I would say that's a good learn response to have. <laughs> that Jesus is love. Jesus is hope. And if I've been forgiven much, I love much. And as I said, there is no one on this earth that I can encounter that I no one on this earth that I will ever look in their eyes and tell them. Ma'am, sir, young man, young woman, there is no hope for you. Never. I would say, if I ever said that, I would misrepresent God, I would misrepresent Jesus, and that's not good. So, to come to Him, you might not like it, but to come to Him is to die. Say, He died. I died and all you gang bangers you know that that you all think you're all tough and maybe some of you are but you say a life for a life well that's Christianity a life for a life he died so we need to die he loves you and I tell you right now when you die you become all he brought you to this earth to be so I encourage you it's a good thing it's not a bad thing God bless you. Yeah, so, Brother Frank, um, I'm just here with my wife and my family, and I was just thinking about what Brother Frank was sharing in the car, you know, about death and dying. And I just think it's cool because right before we got in the car, I said, Jesus is life. And <clears throat> that was all that I had. <laughs> I didn't have anything more than that. Jesus is life. Um, but as we were in the car with Brother Frank, and he was sharing about he's called here to die it just came to me you know we discover Jesus as life when we die we discover that it's not, death isn't the end in itself life is even in 2nd Corinthians Paul says death is at work in us that's what brother Frank is saying 
but life in you. And this is the ministry that God has given us. That when we choose to die to ourselves, Christ comes forth. His life goes forth. That's where, you know, the ministry of, that's where the ministry is. Um, it's really in uh, ministering to Christ, choosing Him inwardly and not ourselves and choosing deliberately to die to self, uh, to what we are, to who we are, to what we want, and choosing rather who he is and what he wants. And so that, you know, that's really where we uh, find our place in the Lord. And um, these are, you know, the spiritual walls that must be rebuilt in the church, these realities stone upon stone these kingdom realities that we fail to understand that we fail to teach in the churches because we've reduced Christianity down to saying a prayer uh, to go to heaven and then just being a part of a system going to church and you know helping out at the church but it's spiritual and so God is restoring, God is rebuilding, God is at work right now. And I know that Satan is also at work, obviously we all know that, but among God's people, he's doing a new thing. And so it's just so good to be a part of what God is doing. And I would just encourage you guys, wherever you're at in the world, do what God is calling you to do, do it quickly. We must carry out the task assigned to us by the one who sent me. The night is coming and then no one can work. And so the night is coming when no one can work and now is the time to do what God has called us to do quickly. Not to delay, but to do what God calls you to do and do it quickly. And so uh, that's my encouragement and prayer to you guys that you would carry out the task that God has assigned to you uh, with quickness. Hallelujah.